Here we are on the first set. I hit a long howl with my mouth diaphragm because my batteries in my remote were dead. I get these five coyotes come out of the wood line and start working their way to the south. Unfortunately, you can see in parts of this video, they are on the other side of a county road and also on a property that it cannot shoot onto. Coyotes do what they're supposed to here and circle downwind of me. And that's the end of set number one. Somehow managed to leave home and not put new batteries in the remote, so I had to stop at the good old dollar store and get the hook up. Let's see what we got here. Boom. Back in action. Let's roll. I really appreciate you, dollar store. If you want to become a sponsor of the channel, just drop a comment down below and we can find a way to hook you up or you hook me up. Here we are on the next set. This one gets interesting rather quickly. I was calling this large ag field to my left, just playing some rabbit distress and straight ahead out of this timber just to the right. I had this pair start heading right towards me. Hell yeah, guys. Man, kind of calmed down now because I thought that other one was going to come back in. Messed around with it for probably 10 to 15 minutes and uh, it never did come back into range. I probably could have shot, but I don't know what's behind this field back here on that uh, south side. But man, that was awesome. I probably should have shot at that second one as it was running, but I don't like to kind of spray and pray unless it's uh, tournament time. I should have fired a couple at it, but we'll save some for the tournaments and that won't be here a different night. So let's get up here, check this out and see if it's a male or a female and hell yeah, just never gets old. Let's go check it out. I always like to try to shoot that second one so the one that's closest is of course closer for a follow-up shot. I should have pulled the trigger on that second one but it's okay. I 
that one just stayed right here in the woods towards the end was barking at me the wind kind of shifted and turned towards it might be a good size one here oh yeah biggest one of the year by far man look at that thing Bugs out here. Big male. Man, that's a good looking dog. How big this thing is. It's a big dog. Good coat on it already, good color. Man. It's a good looking dog. Back here at the house, guys. That's all I got time for tonight. Pretty fun night. Uh, first set there, I saw four or five. They were across the road. Uh, definitely can't shoot across the roads. And uh, anyway, I didn't have permission to shoot onto that property where they were at. They circled downwind of me, and uh, that was the end of that one. That's where I found out that my batteries were out of my remote, and uh, stopped and got those, and then ended up calling in this one, and probably a female that was with him, I'm sure, and uh, probably should have took a shot at that female, but it's okay. We'll save that for a tournament or another day, and uh, a lot of coyote season left, and a uh, pretty good night. Seen one or two more there at that same spot, so all in all, um, saw seven, maybe eight coyotes, took one shot and got one in the back of the truck. So can't beat that. And also want to say thanks to the guys at thermalhunting.com. Got the hat on here. Comment down below if you guys are looking into getting any thermal or just coyote hunting gear in general. And uh, I'll get you hooked up with those guys. Really good people over there at thermalhunting.com. Crazy times we're in right now. Big ammo shortage, but no shortage at my place. Got plenty to last me all year and uh, more after that. So Appreciate you guys being here as always. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya.